Look how bad my cold sore looks. Can uh, I zoom? Uh, uh. So this morning we're heading into Bergen and uh, this will be sort of the last big city that we go into before we go back to Oslo to get the plane out of Norway. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hope you need. Staying at the waterfall was pretty cool. It wasn't too loud, I was surprised actually. It was soothing. Yeah, and they had the bathrooms there, which is great. It looked like there was going to be a sunrise over that valley, but uh, as we're driving into Bergen, there was just cloud everywhere. So a little bit of blue sky now, which is good. And the plan in Bergen is to visit a bakery that has some vegan goodies. And also then we go to Ikea to get hot dogs. <laughs> we backtracked 20 minutes. Yeah, that was so worth it. What if we find something else for lunch? Is it going to be as cheap it's as not Ikea be as hot dogs? Cheap, no. There you go. All right. So that's what our day is looking like today. Supposed to be a pretty good city. Say city say again. Say city. <laughs> I knew you were going to say say city again. Look, hey, it's another Tesla. Whoa. That's all good. Do you want to talk about what happened? Oh, the GPS said to exit the roundabout and do a U-turn, so instead I had to go around the roundabout twice, using both lanes with my blinker on like a tourist. Fine, happy? This is where, like, you were listening to the GPS instead of your common sense. It's okay, you couldn't focus on multiple, multiple things. That's what I'm here for. That was a good little mission this morning. We uh, had some breakfast at the cafe, photographed the brigand, and now we're gonna head out of town. So even though there's so much to see in Bergen, we still have so much to see of Norway. So we're gonna head out now and then probably find some fjords. Sun is out, looking good. What an incredible spot. So we had to drive, uh, well, when we drove out of Bergen, this is sort of a, about an hour detour, but what an incredible spot. The light is just catching in part of the valley at the moment, and we're just rushing around, taking photos. I'll give that to you. I think it looks better here. spot to uh, explore and photograph. Andrew gets super excited when he finds a composition and he tends to just stay there because he gets so excited he just wants to nail it and sometimes that means that he misses out on other really cool compositions. That's where I come in. Generally I'll like um, send him a photo picture. Like right now I'm probably going to send him a message and tell him that this composition is awesome.
But that was really cool. That light down the valley was bloody awesome. Haley was running ahead and scouting little compositions and locations, <coughs> locations while I was coming in behind trying to film. I have to point the camera down because guess what? It's raining. It's raining again. It wouldn't be Norway if it wasn't raining. But that just goes to show we turned up and it was like sunlight all through the valley. Both waterfalls were lit up. A cloud came over and covered the waterfalls which gave that really good foreground mood but left the background lit up and now it's raining and the valley's filled with fog. So, you know, it's always go, go, go. And I hope I got some images there that look cool because we had such a limited time to work in. sun's bright. So what we're going to do now, uh, just in case something really amazing happens, because chances are we're going to be driving during sunset. So we're going to have dinner here. That'll get us to a period where it should be around sunsetish time, maybe we're here. And if something happens, then we'll go back out and photograph again. But uh, what an awesome valley. What's the place called? I want to know this one. Let me look Volnish it up. Fjord. I'm going to look it up. Haley's going to look it up. I just had a quick look at the photos on the back of the LCD. I think I, I got everything that I needed to to blend images and and come out with a good composite there so fingers crossed we'll see it was an absolute rush trying to maximize that light okay we're at Voring Fossum that is so bright it's bright hey Voring Fossum is where we are so in true Norway style it's now completely clouded over uh, and any chance of any potential sunset is, is probably gone it's still a bit bright the sun is is up but um now that i think about it it's still another two and a half hours until a potential for sunset so uh we're just gonna head out of here head to our next spot because we may be able to make somewhere else for sunset who knows dinner was delicious again if you want to follow or if you want to know what we've eaten on the trip and whatnot we'll do a video at the end how much it cost and what we eat and how we did it canned beans as well shh don't tell them that's coming later canned beans and pasta Get it in pasta just full on. This oh, one. I know, I know, I can't. So we're just finishing up now. We uh, sort of stopped at this little town on the drive where it looked like a sunset might take place. There was a little bit of color for about five seconds and then it's just turned gray again. So uh, yeah, it's a shame, but we had some great light today at that waterfall. So I'm not too stressed. Haley's definitely not stressed. She was saying at the waterfall that she hasn't said wow in Norway for a couple of days. I think we're becoming desensitized to how beautiful it is here. And definitely in the south, because you spend a lot of time in tunnels. So you, you sort of just like pop out to these massive fjords but you can't really take it in so it's been a really nice change this section of drive here and the waterfall today as well so yeah anyway guys look we'll probably leave it there for this one um we don't know where we're going to camp yet or what we're going to do but just like every other night same problems keep going on the road till we find a good rest stop cheers <laughs>